Have you ever seen a movie with a premise that was so cool that even if the movie was a complete train wreck, you knew it was at least going to be hype? Bubble is the Little Mermaid set in a post-apocalyptic Tokyo centered around zero gravity parkour. That idea is a guaranteed win for the filmmaker and a guaranteed loss for me. Because if the movie's a masterpiece, it's like, uh, yeah, obviously it's the Little Mermaid with parkour. But if the movie's terrible and I hate it, then it's like, yeah, obviously, it's The Little Mermaid with parkour. You know, there's just no scenario in which I come out the winner here. But honestly, all this movie needs to do to win me over with a premise like this is give me some hype parkour action. That's all. You sold me on the parkour. I, you think I care about The Little Mermaid aspect of this? Just give me some cool parkour throughout the entire movie, and I'm sold. So let's see what Bubbles got to offer. Whoa, starting heavy with the bubble symbolism here, huh, guys? I got a great pitch for a new anime here for you guys, okay? So it's called Bubble, right? And so obviously we open up on a bubble, you know? You make a movie called Bubble, you open on a bubble. So we're on the shot of the bubble, right? But then guess what? No, we aren't. It's the universe. Just broke my glasses. That's right, baby. We're the bubble. And you're goddamn right it's political. Is that a... Is that a Sailor Moon? Is that what a Sailor Moon is? I've never watched Sailor Moon before, but that looks like a Sailor Moon to me. Then, then we zoom in and boom, Japan's a bubble. Jim, I got an hour and 40 minutes of bubble material here. You in or you out? I'm talking full-fledged bubble apocalypse here. The birds are bubbles. The money is bubbles. You know those little bubble wands you get from CVS? That's a wallet. Yo, this dude is cooking! Even if this movie sucks, I'm gonna need it to do financially well so I can get my hands on a bubble video game. I would pay a hundred dollars just to parkour through a bubble-infested virtual Japan. Are you kidding me? Activision, are you listening? I know you like money. Why is there a murder pit in the middle of the ocean? Um, because it's rad? Of all people, the guy with the green faux hawk should know that. I like how this guy basically also said because it's rad. Also, how'd that children's doll smell, you freak? It's called Battlecore? You know what? This movie's plot doesn't even matter. This is an anime about Battlecore. You think I'm gonna be a narc and judge it on its themes? That'd be like saying Beyblade doesn't have enough strategy. It's two metal tops bashing into each other. What more do you want? Oh shit, here comes the bubble jumper. Oh, he's so graceful! Oh, look at that grace! I wonder what he's listening to. I bet it's jazz. Oh, look at him. He's becoming one with the bubble. You gotta respect the bubbles, dog. Out here, you either float like a bubble or you get popped. God, this movie's cool. I can't wait for it to become unbelievably boring in about 10 minutes. My biggest fear is that this is one of those anime movies that's only fun during the, like, two action sequences and then, like, incredibly dull the rest of the time. That's the only way I can hate this movie. If it keeps up this kind of pace, like, it'll be incredible. Oi, <laughs> Dog, it's battle core. The whole sport is showing off. Oh yeah, you've seen some shit, have you? Excuse me if your capri leggings and crop teal sweatshirt don't really scream tortured protagonist. Are are these kids terrorists? Wow, look at this ragtag gang of misfits. We got Axel from Guilty Gear, Connie from Attack on Titan, and a human Raichu. Oh, she took his jams! You never take a dude's jams, what's wrong with her? What do you mean, mass chaos? They're bubbles! Oh, 
Oh, well, I didn't know they nuked the city. Oh my god, I can't believe this is literally a bubble apocalypse. Good for this movie for inventing the bubble punk genre. What a hyper-specific disaster. And you know what? I hope this movie never tells me why Tokyo specifically became the bubble capital of the world. The sound of bubbles? What do you mean? Like a... This guy's lost it. This guy's got total bubble madness. Oh, what a concerned bubble. This guy didn't respect the bubbles. Now he's about to get his ass popped. Look at this nervous little bubble coming to the rescue. Oh my god, the bubble was the girl! Whoa, 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 you gotta ask before you do shit like that, bubble! I don't know how things work in bubble world, but up here you get consent! Whoa, I am vibing with her outfit. She looks like she's cosplaying Nico from League of Legends. You're dressed like a Pillsbury Doughboy, lay off! Oh my god, this girl is adorable. But she just deep fried her hand! Are you sure she doesn't seem a little crispy? You know, on account of the fact that she just deep fried her hand? Ugh, get your bubbly ass fingers away from his mouth, he's gonna catch your bubble herpes. Oh, look, and they're spreading! Quit touching your damn mouth! That's why they're spreading! Well, if she likes parkour, do I have the sport for her? Oh my god, those bubbles just fucked up that duck! Oh, the chickens hate it. Go, this come on, get out, get out of here, get, get out of our house, you crazy bitch! That's the egg she crushed? What, did they scoop it off the ground and serve it to her? That seems a little harsh. Oh my god, they harnessed bubble power! Who are these Thousand Eye Restrict cosplayers? Oh man, I wonder if these guys are evil. Nobody dressed as Psycho Mantis has any good intentions. Oh wow, we're just straight up reading The Little Mermaid in this now, huh? What, the end of the book? Yeah, you could call that a spoiler. Yo, don't let her read that. Yesterday this girl was a bubble. I think it's a little early to be teaching her about the horrors of humanity. Nice, this dude even writes in parkour. You wanna fuck with me, bitch? Come on, try it! Oh, so he's definitely not listening to something funky with his headphones. Oh, ew, what? Why does he look like that? He just got, like, almost photorealistic for a second. Uh, hey, I just opened up to you. I'd really appreciate it if you didn't try to pitch me your new hit single right now. Oh, okay, this is rad. <laughs> Bitch, nobody out parkours me! <laughs> oh, what, you guys aren't on high-fiving terms? Kissing him underwater is okay, but slapping his hand is crossing a line? Just so everybody knows, I know she'll turn in the bubbles if she touches him. It's a comedy channel, I gotta make the joke somehow. Oh, what is this? Whatever sinister shit they're planning, I promise you I'm gonna find ridiculous. Yep, it's ridiculous. They kidnapped the scientist girl for views? What, I'm supposed to be intimidated by a bunch of Twitch streamers? Hibiki. Hibiki.
Bring me their eyes. Their their eyes, Hibiki. I want their eyes. I mean, right now, she's literally a prize you guys are trying to win, but I see your point. Okay, I don't want to embarrass anyone, but is anyone gonna tell her she's supposed to be avoiding the swirling death pit? I know this is her first battle core game, but that seems like a pretty big rule to clue her in on. Oh, she's kicking the spiral's ass! Ooh, kiss? Kiss, little smooch? Ooh, we'll put a pin in that. We'll come back to that one later. Dude, this movie has so much more parkour than I was expecting it to. I thought there'd be like two big parkour scenes and the rest of the movie would be like really boring romance. But it's been pretty non-stop the whole time. I am impressed. Holy shit! I don't even know how she made him bleed! She just somersaulted so fucking hard she cut him! So Yo, she just crushed her face! She just used that woman's face as a springboard! Yo, this movie is sick! Why is nobody talking about this? Why did the hype for this movie die the second it came out? This is such a cool movie. It's weird how this movie is constantly giving these side characters screen time, while also having absolutely nothing for them to do. You see, this dude's jealous. There's a forbidden love in this movie, all right, and it's got nothing to do with the mermaid. God, I love her little song. Oh my God, her song is cursed. What the fuck did you do? I seriously doubt the eldritch god of terror you just summoned wants to hear about the little mermaid. Uta. So, what you doing? Nothing! Okay, this is a terrible idea, and here's why. One, if you kiss her, she's gonna explode into bubbles. Two, you never date a battle core teammate, everybody knows that. And three, you're gonna break your poor pirate friend's heart. Would you stop reciting The Little Mermaid and tell me what the hell is going on? Does she literally live by the rules of The Little Mermaid story? <laughs> I thought she just connected with the character. I thought she just liked the book. So The Little Mermaid is a fictional story within this movie, and also she is literally The Little Mermaid? Unless... Because when she was a bubble, she, like, became this woman on a billboard. So maybe she, after reading The Little Mermaid, she's forced herself to live by the rules of the story, too? But I don't understand what's going on with the demon god of bubbles, then, if it's not Ursula. You what?! Why did you decide to move to sunken Tokyo?! Ah. Kiss, 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 go mwah! You're lucky you're cute. So what's their plan? They're just gonna run into the swirling pit of bubbles and see what happens? I'm starting to see why critics say this movie falls apart in the third act. <laughs> because a boy is this movie falling apart. The mermaid makes no sense. The song her and Hibiki can hear makes no sense. Nothing about this ending makes any sense, but I do feel a parkour scene coming on, so I'd be lying if I said I cared. <gasps> oh! It's you! Wow. Wow, I can't believe- <laughs> How do I not remember you? This movie's not very long. I don't know who this character is at all. Oh, who cares? He's fucking sick! Let's go! Dude, this movie is pure adrenaline. He just shattered that guy's prosthetic leg for the sake of parkouring harder. Oh shit, this is about to get dark, isn't it? What is this Pompeii shit? Why is everybody frozen in time here? 
泡立ちの怒りに触れてしまったのかもしれない What did I say about respecting the bubbles? Also, is this movie really implying that he caused the bubble apocalypse? He m- That must just be survivor's guilt. There's no way that actually is true. <laughs> Lady, what are you talking about? I've never seen a movie fall apart so abruptly before. <laughs> Oh god, she's sudsin! This poor girl's sudsin away like she's a new mascot for scrubbing bubbles. <laughs> so, why <laughs> did the bubble collapse? What even was the bubble? What it, like, why? <laughs> Who is this mermaid girl? I have an, like, unending amount of questions. <gasps> Ah, gross, don't fucking scoop up her suds. This is pretty and all, but isn't this literally how the first disaster started? <laughs> no, get out of here! Don't tell me the bubbles stopped a war! You can't just cut to some war torn shit and be like. Maybe. We don't have to fight anymore. Start throwing these around instead of grenades. That'll end war, according to Bubble. Either that's the implication, or an even funnier implication, that soldier stopped giving a shit about the bubbles like two seconds after and just opened fire. And that's Netflix's Bubble. I completely understand what critics are saying about it. This movie's plot r just collapses hard in the end. There's like almost no payoff to all the setup, because of how confusing it is. So the last like 30 minutes really does kind of put a bad taste in your mouth. That being said, honestly, there is like a ton of parkour action in this and the animation's always gorgeous. Like the movie never feels boring at all. It just, <laughs> it just gets complicated, but also like shallow towards the end. You know what? Yeah, it doesn't even get, that's the problem. It doesn't get complicated at the end. It just gets confusing. But if what you've seen here seems pretty cool, I still recommend you check out the movie just for the really awesome extended parkour sequences. Also, the soundtrack is super good. I like almost never notice soundtracks in movies. I, I like this one bangs. But that's Bubble. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this movie. Let me know what you thought of this review and let me know what you want to see me cover in the future. And I will see you guys next time. But now I always seem to freeze. I